Hey guys, welcome to our first episode of All About Backgrounds. Today I will be sharing with you guys all of my material that I use for backgrounds. So let's jump right on into it. First and foremost, this is what I started using when I first started coloring. I used eyeshadow. Now I have so many eyeshadows. I mean, I actually have two of the same palette. So yes, <laughs> I have enough to spare. So if you're going to be using your eyeshadow, don't use eyeshadow that you currently use because you don't want it to get infected any kind of way and be putting that back near your eye. No. So I use eyeshadow. That's the first thing I use. The second thing I used when I first started was this Crayola colored chalk. Now the difference between the chalk and trying to get one out of here that's not broken there we go what's the difference between chalk and maybe like colored pastels or soft pastels is that there are more pigments in a actual soft pastel <clears throat> excuse me and you have more pigment in your um cheaper um, soft pastels than you have in just this Crayola chalk. There's more pigment in this Prismacolor than it is in a cheaper pastel, soft pastel that you might get from Michaels or Hobby Lobby for maybe $5 or $10. There's going to be more pigment, just like with color pencils. You have more pigment with the more expensive or better quality items. So these are the two that I got started with to do backgrounds with. So we have our eyeshadow. I have chalk. As I've shown you, I have the Prismacolor Premier New Pastels. I also have the Creta Color Hard Pastels, which are supposed to be water soluble. I have the sticks. So we have those. Now I also have pencils. I have the Faber Castell Pit Pastel pencils. And they're like chalk pencils. They're soft pastel pencils. I have the soft pastel pencils by Koinor, the Gioconda. Okay, you don't want to close package. Okay, there we go. And last but not least, I have the Stabilo Carbothello chalk pastel coloring pencils. Okay, so that's all of my coloring items, pastels, background items that I have. The next thing you're going to need is a fixative. This is the first thing that I got when I first started. I got this um, unscented hairspray by Perfect Purity, maximum hold from Dollar Tree. It was $1 and it worked perfectly with my uh, chalk and my eyeshadow. But when I started to use my pastel pencils, and my new pastels, it did not work because I guess those were too um, pigmented and it just was too hard or had too much weight to it or something, but it would not fix those items. <laughs> so I would mainly just use this probably for eyeshadows and chalk and like lighter things. But to, you know, fix that whole page, this is what worked for me. I went to Walmart, I got this for $3 and I think 47 cents. It's the matte finish by Krylon and it works wonderfully. So those are my fixatives. I have a little pan to scrape my uh, pastels in and 
If you don't have a little pan, you can always use a little piece of plastic or a little plate or a little dish or whatever you have. Then you can use some scissors, an X-Acto knife, or what I use is a, a eyebrow thing. What do you call this thing? Razor. Eyebrow razor, because that's the closest thing I have. But you can use a pair of scissors if you'd like. But just get what you got. <laughs> and you need a brush to brush off the excess of your page. And the reason you wouldn't want to wipe with your hand is because it'll get all over your hand. And it'll get probably in places on your page that you don't want it. It'll smear if you use your hand. So that's why you need a brush, a brush of some type. Next, you need your cotton rounds and your Q-tips. And I have made little stencils and I have some more stencils coming from eBay that I ordered some actual stencils that I plan on using for backgrounds. With this stencil here of the clouds that I cut out with the little card paper, I use this very, very, very often for my clouds. And I plan on using this one for like waves and just little sea, the sea and different little things like that. And that's where I cut the clouds. So I figured I could use this too, so. And last but not least, you're going to need your picture that you want to put your background in, okay? All right, so that's everything, guys, that you will need for your background. So in episode one, we are going to be putting a background on our caramel queen here. And we will be using eyeshadow today since she's so colorful and beautiful. So we're just going to use eyeshadow on her today. So let's get our things together and let's work on us some eyeshadow. Let's get our uh, cotton round and our eyeshadow. And we're just going to do different colors on this one. Okay. And let me get my baby wipes out because my hands tend to get a little dirty. So, got my baby wipes. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We could make this a solid background, but for the video's sake, we're going to go all crazy. Since her hair is all crazy and different colors, we're going to do different color, a different color background. So, you know what? No, we're going to stay simple because I, I, I don't want you guys to be intimidated by these backgrounds so let's do one color so what color should we do our background i don't know maybe i'll test it out on the opposite page let's see do i want it to be pink forget it we're not going to test anything out let's just go on into it guys i'm going to use this blue right here and it's probably going to be very pigmented but oh well so that's all you do is you just dip it in your um your palette and then just go at it. Just go at it. Can you see it? Let me zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. Looks like you still can't see it. Let's see if you can see it better that way. Still looks like you can't really see it, but I can see it very, very well. Hold on, let's let's work on this lighting situation, guys, because I want you to be able to really see it. Hold on, guys, let me work with you. Yeah, now you can see it a little bit better. All right, okay. Let's see if I turn this on. Can you see it any better? Okay. Okay, so you just take that and don't worry about getting, um, let me zoom you out a little bit. There we go. 
Don't worry about getting the product on your pencil work. Just go in small circles and be very light handed. All right, yeah, you can see that a little bit better. Be very light handed because you don't want to make streaks. And don't worry about getting the product on your pencil work because it usually doesn't stick. It usually doesn't stick on your um on your pencil work. So we're just doing a solid background on her. Does that look better, guys? So easy, guys. So easy to work with this to make your background. You know, you don't want to try to get it on your pencil work, but it usually doesn't really do anything. So can you see the difference? I'm going to try to make this a little more opaque just for this video's sake. I usually will leave it more translucent. You see it? But for this video's sake, we're going to make it very, very, very deep. All right, that's looking good, guys. Don't be afraid of backgrounds. Backgrounds just add this, this finish to your page that just... Oh my goodness, it just makes it pop. And you can just experiment with so many different colors. I've seen people have like um, these palettes of eyeshadow with a hundred colors and stuff. <laughs> yeah, so you can really, 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 really just have a ball with it. So guys, look how look how we're doing it. Look how beautiful it's coming out. Now, if you have a light color pencil, maybe you colored something cream color and, you know, you might get a little bit on there. You may have to use your eraser. You want to be careful not to get it on a very, very light color. But these dark colors, it really usually really doesn't matter if you get a little bit of the, the pastel or the eyeshadow on Look how beautiful that's coming out, guys, on the pencil work or marker work or pen work or whatever it is. But you have to make sure you fix it. Well, I mean, this one really wouldn't matter if you fix it with a fix it or not because this page is blank. But you still probably wouldn't want it to be, you know, smearing all around and messing your work up. Okay, so that's it. Guys, background done. Now, a lot of people, they some people do their backgrounds before they color a picture. Some people do it after. I like doing mine's after because I usually don't know where I'm going with my picture until I'm done with my picture. So, yeah, I like doing my background after. Okay, so that's it, guys. Look at that. We're done. We did a background. Now let's fix it. Use our fixative, which I'm going to use my hairspray, my handy dandy hairspray. All right. And I'm going to shake it up, shake it up, shake it up really, really, really good. I'm going to hold my picture up. And I'm going to hold my can. Let's see. That's maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
maybe six to eight inches away from my picture and just do a light spray and see it's making little little dots because it's it's been cold and it's making the little hairspray dots which I don't like hopefully they will go away but you want to keep it from doing that you want to make sure it stays in an aerosol form so hopefully that didn't really mess it up too bad I'm sure it didn't they'll probably dry fine but that's what you don't want it to sputter out onto your page you want to make sure the aerosol is is good that's why you would want to probably move it around while you're spraying I just kind of do that and spray it up and that's it guys I didn't even have to use my baby wipe because it didn't really get on my hand oh yes it did my hand did get a little dirty yep <laughs> from using the the whatever this is q-tip no baby wipe no cotton swap no cotton round no what is this thing called cotton ball <laughs> Okay, guys, so that's it. We have did a background. We've done a background using eyeshadow. So stay tuned for our next episode where we will be using possibly the chalk or one of our um, stick pastels. And then the next video will be us trying out using our soft pastel pencils and the Stabilo ones. Uh, Carbothellos. So guys, stay tuned for our next episode. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. And I'll see you on the next episode. Happy coloring. Bye.